Look, I appreciate you coming here and visiting your mother-in-law while she's on her deathbed, even though you don't like her. I gotta ask you a question. Okay, ask away. Look, I don't know her super well, all right? I can only go by what people tell me until I get to know her more, which I don't get. I guess I'm not gonna get to do that. Was there anything that you liked about the woman? Was there ever a time you did get along with her? Um, we had our moments of civility where things seemed okay and I didn't hate her entirely and I think there were times where she didn't hate me entirely. But those times were rare. You think that she really hated you as much as you hate her? Or do you, do you think there was any way y'all could have worked it out? Just worked it out and then fixed your family? I'm not a hateful person. I try not to hate people. I think I have boundaries and I think I'm deserved certain boundaries. And with her, I deserved a lot of them. And sometimes I didn't get them. But I don't hate anyone. I don't wish harm on anyone. As for how much she hated me, I don't know. Well, that's a shame. And it's a shame she's got to die like this. But I got I to bring something else up here too. Okay, and what's that? And please keep in mind that I'm here already, and I shouldn't be. So if she passes, you're really the only other family she's got right now. Her brother's in no condition to, to be paying for things like that. Her mother don't care about her. Her daughter don't care about her. Her son, who knows where the hell he is, with all due respect, I know he's your husband, but you're the only one with the funds that can cover something. If you're referring to what I'm thinking, what I think you're referring to, I'm her daughter-in-law, and we don't have much of a relationship. I don't think that I'm in the right position to, to be paying for her funeral or casket or whatever you're implying. Ah, well, you know, I'm, I'm here by her bedside, but I only known her a few days. I only know her a few days yet. You, you agreed to cut my brakes for her, no? I know nothing about cutting brakes. Nothing. Hey, look, I think the conversation should end there. I shouldn't be here. This has gone on way too long, and you're now making me feel uncomfortable. I, I, not make you, I, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable, but we do got to talk about the end of life stuff here. Okay, well, if it comes to what it comes to, I'm not in the position to be paying for a funeral or a casket, and um, I think the route would probably have to be the alternative. And what she didn't want to be cremated, you know what I mean? What if that wasn't in her will or whatever? What if she doesn't want to be cremated? Maybe she's got a burial plot with someone. Someone's got to find these things out. Maybe her mother's got a burial plot with, with other family or something. Maybe there's burial plots been purchased. Well, maybe you should look into that and maybe you should call Nanny Agatha and ask her. I'm just her boyfriend. I feel like you're her daughter-in-law legally. Honestly, she's not dead. So this conversation shouldn't be happening yet, in my opinion. I find, but it's not pleasant to talk about those types of things after the person has been deceased. It's better to get these things ahead of time, but okay.